Free N95 masks, courtesy of the federal government, are now available at most Madison area pharmacies. Hy-Vee, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, they all have them in stock right now, as well as some local smaller chains. But since the number is limited, that's leading to another problem. Christina Laurie reports. Unlike cloth masks, N95s aren't washable. And since we're capped at three for free right now, we wanted to find out how you can make yours last. N95s are considered the gold standard when it comes to masks. And if you want to make yours last, doctors suggest you treat them like gold. Grab them by the edges, not, not always touch them, you know, in, in the front. Five days is the average lifespan for an N95. After about five times of use, you probably should remove them and, and get a new mask. The longer you wear them, the longer they're trapping air particles and the less effective they're becoming. Most particles die over the course of several hours. Put them in a paper bag. That's why SSM Health Dr. David Ottenbaker suggests keeping yours in a bag overnight and being careful. But you really want to avoid situations where they can get soiled or wet. So, you know, watch if you're drinking water. You'll know it's time to replace your masks when they get damp, bent, or visibly dirty from things like makeup, or if you've worn them around someone who later tests positive. Once they get soiled, then they will they will lose their effectiveness. Overall, the contamination risk in reusing N95s is much lower than the risk of not wearing them in the first place. And although we're limited to three for free right now. What I would say is that that's, you know, almost three weeks of better protection than what they've had before. Now, when it comes to N95s, it's also really important to make sure yours is real. All real N95s are labeled with a serial number that you're able to search and verify online. Reporting in Madison for News 3 Now, I'm Christina Laurie. And while most chains currently have the N95s in stock, they are running into problems keeping things that way. Pharmacies assured us they get shipments weekly. They ask that you refrain from calling in advance. They don't have the staff to provide constant inventory updates over the phone.